Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. So much excitement going on and so much great content for the content providers. Cheers to everyone out there who was doing all the hours of research and has put in their time as investors and as content providers. But now going back to content providers, there are many of us out there me being one of the new actual providers to the space and some of the guys who have been here for a year many cheers to you guys it is a lot of work but it's a lot of fun for people like myself <coughs> pardon me who have been here for years we're doing this anyway and then about 18 months ago or so we stumble on hey there's actually people discussing this so we don't have to find it our own then you have great people out there. You're always going to have hateful people and you're always going to find supportive people. And the strangest, oddest um, like personality clashes for no absolute reason. And you're going to always have personality connections out of the random places, out of the random walks you have in life. It's a strange thing. But the repulsion and the attraction um, it is a real thing like a magnet and it's pretty exciting to see in real life I know I'm going in a little bit different uh, video tonight um, and me personally I admit I'm more of a personal person really factual straight to the point in and out and so talking about yourself in my personal shoes is an uncomfortable thing this week I apologize that the videos have been a little bit and on my side behind as I have so many files it may not appear so from the opposite perspective but on this end my files are stacking up and I will get caught up on a lot of these this week um, it's been a tough one this challenge I don't know if you have families or if you're married and have children in my shoes I do have four kids and my youngest one has been um, having a tough time under the weather for the entire week and if you do have kids you know how it is when they get a little bit older it's a little bit easier but when they're young and if they get sick for whatever reason it is a challenge and it is a little bit tough on parents especially if you're working or both working full-time jobs or doing what you do then you try to squeeze in research or anything additional on top of that after working a full day it is nearly impossible so what we do is get a cup of coffee and hope that helps all right enough about that but I just wanted to bring it up because you guys have been so amazing and absolutely supportive and again as um, subscribers and other content providers man I have to send out uh, much love to CKJ he has been, ever since I first met this guy, the most supportive um, content provider and hardest working. There was a lot of drama when I first kind of uh, came onto the scene and I used to watch a lot of different global content providers. But even s like some of, for no reason, some of the streams would have so much hate. And that guy to me is so impressive. Whether you love them or whether you hate them, it'll be the same with me or anyone else. People are what they are. You like who you like. You dislike who you dislike. It is what it is. So once you move beyond that, he is one impressive guy. Works really hard uh, amidst all the drama. I mean, this guy has... I've seen him on Twitter tipping nonstop from morning till night tips everybody the most positive person I have seen in the entire uh, crypto industry and the whole little communities and uh, point is of this story just want to say thank you this guy has a big heart and give another shout out to another one of the content providers uh, a guy named XRP venture really really amazing guy <clears throat> I mean these guys they don't know me. They kind of befriended me and have shown nothing but love. So I just want to say thank you back to these guys. 
And uh, thank all of you who are subscribers and supporting this channel. We have tons of stuff to share with you, and we do a lot of hard work, even though we're new. As you will see with uh, the years to come, as we go through this journey together of crypto and digital asset investors. And uh, another important thing with that is there gets a little bit of drama. I just want to say another thing about this and then I'm done. There gets a little bit of drama with everyone. I mean, what do you expect? You see the first bull run in 2017, or it's not the first, the major, we're going to call it that, the major bull run in 2017. If you're here, you heard about it. And if that's the reason that you came in, you know how easily it can happen. But remember, it is still investing. And what I've noticed here is the cycle is every four years, 2009, 2013, 2017, <clears throat> the next peak. Remember, that doesn't mean it's going to wait till then and stay at wherever it is. It will climb, but that is the peak of that immediate run before it stabilizes or drops back down to regain its foundation and its balance. But you'll have 2021 and the next is 2025 as stated with everyone in financial institution that 2025 is the digital asset, uh, like the cryptocurrency being used globally uh, for a true use case. That is the full maturity. And then like anything, the full maturity of Apple or Tesla or uh, Microsoft, take your pick. Put in your favorite company there. When it had its full maturity, the peak of the price, and that's what I'm in here for is 2025. I'm in for the long time. The next will be 2029. Now imagine Apple. You saw it at the peak, and then a few more years after, it slowly climbed. The way I would I visualize this, you have your car, and then you have your speedometer. Let's stick to the BMW. That's my favorite. I love those. Absolute. Most of the cars are going to be governed at 155. If you imagine 2025 as being the speedometer, when you hit that, that's basically your governor. You're doing 155, cruising south on the I-5, 21 lanes coming out of Orange County, cruising. And then what happens if you keep that floored, it slowly goes past that and climbs, climbs, and climbs, but very slow because it's on a governor. That's how it's going to hit in 2029. It'll slowly climb, but that's the peak. Okay, I've gone way beyond where I intended to with that, but I definitely had to show some love and some respect to all of you guys. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. You guys have been more than supportive. I appreciate your comments, all of them. If you're being honest and you're being real, it doesn't matter. I mean, be polite and respectful. Feel free to say anything. We're all human beings. We're all not too much different. We've all got our different stories. We've all been through our crazy walks in life. And we're in this as pioneers. The fourth industrial revolution, as Mark Carney says, this has never been done. It's okay for you guys to feel a little frustrated, a little bit of disappointment, a little bit of anger, a little bit of hate, a lot of love, a lot of excitement. It's natural. We're human. That's what we do. We feel. But going into tonight's news, again, I apologize. It's been a very hectic week. I thought you deserved a little bit of, in you know, my opinion, an explanation of I felt like I was doing a little bit less than I know I could on the videos, but I just didn't have enough time. Uh, not enough hours in the day. Okay, going into the Federal Register, <clears throat> you have remittance transfers under the Electronic Fund Transfer Act Regulation E. And what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to pull up Ripple. And what does it have? Let's go into that sentence you have. The Bureau also believes that expanded adoption of Swift GPI product or Ripple's suite of products could similarly, similarly allow banks and credit unions to know the exact final amount that recipients 
and uh, of remittance transfers will receive before they send the transfer. So let's type in XRP and let's take a look here. What do we have? We have uh, <clears throat> the Bureau has confirmed to monitor the remittance transfer market since the publication of the assessment report and observes that most of these developments continue to progress. Examples include the continued growth and expanded functionality of the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, that's SWIFT's Global Payment Innovation, the GPI tracking product, which can increase the amount of upfront information available to sending institutions and the expansion of the major payment card network's capacity to support cross-border payments. The continued growth of fintech non-bank remittance transfer providers and their further expansion into partnerships and other relationships with banks and credit unions, which allow such entities to tap into the closed network payment systems that non-bank remittance transfer providers have developed. And the continued growth and expanding partnerships of virtual currency companies such as Ripple which offer both a payments messaging platform to support cross <clears throat> excuse me to support cross border money transfers as well as a proprietary virtual currency XRP which can be <clears throat> used to effect settlement of those transfers <clears throat> I apologize for that and again, we're going to come back to this. Um, Ripple is in a lawsuit for security, la, 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 la. If you've been in this, you understand. If you're new, it's a longstanding issue they're going through, trying to get all of this settled, clarified, ended, trying to get through regulations. Again, from the uh, Fenson settlement in 2015, even the U.S. government labeled XRP a currency and what do we have here on the office of the Federal Register for US USA we have another sentence saying messaging platform such as ripple which offer both a payments messaging platform to support cross-border money transfers as well as a proprietary virtual currency virtual currency XRP which can be used to effect settlement of those transfers alright guys just remember there's gonna be a lot of fudsters out there <clears throat> from different communities different digital assets and different cryptocurrencies and they're going to hate on this no matter what but we have so much knowledge and so much information and so much research on this I mean it is what it is there's nothing you can do about that personality or that type of person I mean except feel bad for them or maybe pray for them because it must be tough to have so much hate but again to finish this off I wanted to share this information because um, this is kind of where we are in this um, in this space and the kind of information that we do share I try personally not to um, hype anything beyond the facts that we share but as well as our videos 90% of them the headlines that are stated on our Twitter where I believe many of you have found us through um, are direct comments or something directly from the people that are in the video all right, this is uh, just a quick update. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. It's for entertainment purposes only. But again, wishing you guys much love. Hands in a grateful mode. Thanking each and every one of you who spent your time of your day and took that moment to join me and support this channel. You are amazing. If you're not sure what I said, go look in the mirror. You are amazing. Love you guys. Have a great night. Catch you in the next one.